Egypt continues to surprise scientists with its astonishing discoveries in the land of ancient. Just when it seemed that every secret had been unraveled, like an enduring gift, it kept giving. Recent advancements in archaeological technology have unveiled discoveries that were veiled in ambiguity for decades. These findings both surprise and confound, adding another layer of complexity to our understanding of this mysterious land. Join us as we explore 20 strangest things recently discovered in Egypt. Number 20. Mysterious Chamber in the Great Pyramid In a surprising turn, the Great Pyramid of Giza, a structure extensively studied since its discovery in the 1830s, revealed a hidden secret to archaeologists. No one had to see this. What they discovered shocked the whole world. Despite decades of exploration, recent advancements in technology uncovered an elusive chamber that had eluded researchers for years. Unlike traditional methods that may risk damage, this breakthrough scan technology offers a non-invasive approach, preserving the architectural masterpiece. The 2023 discovery by an international team comprising researchers from France, Japan, and Egypt unveiled a concealed 30-foot corridor within the pyramid, now referred to as the Big Void. While architects propose its design as a strategic measure to distribute the pyramid's weight and prevent collapse, speculations abound about potential secrets and answers to ancient mysteries held within this chamber. Despite the millennia that have passed, this secret corridor has remained sealed, inaccessible behind a concealed wall. Scan imagery, however, revealed a chevron-shaped roof and unfinished walls. Egyptologists interpret the incomplete nature of the walls as a deliberate measure to keep the chamber's contents hidden from view. The question lingers. What secrets might be concealed within this mysterious chamber? The answer to this age-old enigma is a tantalizing mystery, yet to be unveiled. Number 19. Electromagnetic Energy of the Great Pyramid of Giza Exploring the mysterious domain of pyramids, recent research by scientists from ITMO University and the Laser Zentrum Hanover has unveiled captivating electromagnetic revelations within the Great Pyramid. In this groundbreaking experiment, inventive physicists delved into how the pyramid interacts with specific lengths of electromagnetic waves, producing results that defy expectations. Remarkably, this ancient marvel acts like a mystical battery, proficient in storing and utilizing electromagnetic energy. The intrigue deepens as it was found to concentrate energy beneath its base, within an incomplete secret chamber. The scientists utilized resonant radio waves, essentially a secret code, to unlock these distinctive pyramid abilities. Consider the pyramid as a colossal, solid structure. When radio waves encounter it, they undergo a transformation similar to the bending of light in water. This transformation enables the pyramid to focus energy in specific locations within its interior. It's akin to the pyramid intuitively harnessing radio waves to its advantage. The revelation that studying light could uncover pyramid mysteries adds a layer of real-life enigma, enhancing our appreciation for the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians. Number 18. Nefertiti Statue The German archaeological team is credited with discovering the bust of Nefertiti in Amarna, a significant find chronicled in Borchardt's notebook. Despite the joy of the discovery, a dispute arose between German and Egyptian authorities regarding its repatriation. Nefertiti, a mysterious figure, is believed by many to have royal lineage. Alternative theories suggest she may have been a visiting princess or the offspring of a high-ranking official, potentially even succeeding Tutankhamun as king. While some accounts place her death in the twelfth year of Akhenaten's rule, further research contradicts this indicating her strong presence in the 16th year of her husband's reign. After her husband's death, Nefertiti briefly held the role of monarch in Egypt. The Egyptian bust of Nefertiti, standing at 1 foot 6.898 inches, is crafted with a limestone core layered with painted stucco. The statue's face displays near symmetry, featuring an inlaid quartz pupil painted black and sealed with beeswax in the right eye, while the left eye lacks an inlay. The eye socket is set against a plain limestone backdrop. Number 17. Secret Pathway to Cleopatra's Tomb Much like a quest for a needle in a haystack, archaeologists tirelessly combed through every corner of Egypt in pursuit of Cleopatra's burial site. 
no one had to see this. What they discovered in Egypt shocked the whole world. Cleopatra, the enigmatic symbol of feminine prowess, governed ancient Egypt from 51 to 30 BC as the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic dynasty. However, her death and burial have long been veiled in mystery, adding to her mystique. In a promising turn of events in 2022, archaeologist Kathleen Martinez of the University of San Domingo, Dominican Republic, made a startling discovery at the Temple of Tapasiris Magna in Alexandria. During her exploration, Martinez uncovered a concealed tunnel, previously unbeknownst to researchers. This 4,300-foot-long tunnel, positioned about 40 feet below the ground and standing at 6.5 feet tall, is believed by some to be the passageway leading to Cleopatra's tomb. Artifacts found at the site bear the images and names of Cleopatra and Alexander the Great, along with statues depicting the goddess Isis. The potential significance of this discovery has Egyptologists buzzing with excitement, drawing parallels to the magnitude of King Tutankhamun's tomb discovery in 1922. Adding to the intrigue, a considerable portion of the tunnel is submerged underwater, complicating exploration. While some attribute this flooding to historical earthquakes between 320 BC and 1303 BC, others speculate about the ancient Egyptian practice of using booby traps to safeguard important pharaoh's tombs from grave robbers. The question lingers. Could the flooding be a result of an activated booby trap concealing secret treasures within this currently inaccessible chamber? While the answers remain elusive, archaeologists anticipate that revelations hidden behind these enigmatic walls might reshape our understanding of ancient Egypt. Number 16. The Treasure Chest of Thutmose the Second. Venturing into the ancient site of Deir el-Bahari, Archaeologists stumbled upon a 3,500-year-old stone chest, a hidden gem disguised as a plain stone block. No one had to see this. What they discovered in Egypt shocked the whole world. This unassuming chest turned out to be a remarkable treasure trove, challenging initial expectations. Upon closer inspection, the experts uncovered mysterious packages wrapped in linen, resembling precious gifts. Inside the chest, a surprising array of artifacts emerged, including the skeleton of a sacrificial goose, a bundle containing a goose egg, and a wooden box potentially holding an ibis bird egg. An extraordinary assortment. As if that weren't intriguing enough, a bonus surprise awaited nearby. A neatly folded bundle harboring a wooden box shaped like a miniature chapel, bearing the name of none other than Pharaoh Thutmose II. Professor Anders A. Nowinski, a prominent archaeologist, excitedly revealed that this discovery hints at the possibility of an untouched royal tomb concealed in the vicinity. The prospect of unveiling the final resting place of a long-lost king adds a thrilling dimension to the unfolding narrative. The story of Pharaoh Thutmose II and his famous queen, Hatshepsut, unfolds like a real-life drama, marked not only by their marriage dynamics, but also the intricate political landscape of their time. Sadly, Thutmose II met an untimely demise at the young age of 16, adding a poignant layer to this archaeological revelation. Number 15. Meteorite Jewelry This discovery is particularly fascinating for the ladies, as it unveils the allure of rare jewelry. What could be rarer than ancient adornments crafted from meteorites? Yes, you heard it right. No one had to see this. What they discovered in Egypt shocked the whole world. Over 5,000 years ago, ancient civilizations were pioneers in the jewelry realm, utilizing meteorites as decorative objects. In a recent revelation, scientists stumbled upon a mesmerizing bead made from an iron meteorite, dating back to the astonishing time frame between 3,500 and 3,600 BCE. However, these meteorite jewels weren't merely about aesthetics. They held profound significance, believed to possess magical healing properties. The iron meteorites, with their nickel content, were associated with notions of balance and strength, thought to purify the wearer's blood, a celestial touch to adornments. Discovered in 1911 at the Giza Cemetery, approximately 40 miles south of Cairo, these tube-shaped jewelry pieces predate Egypt's Iron Age by thousands of years, 
standing as the first known examples of iron use in ancient Egypt. What sets these beads apart is not just their antiquity, but also their unique composition. Researchers identified a high nickel content, a telltale sign of iron meteorites, and a distinctive crystal structure known as the Widmanstaten patterns, found exclusively in meteorites formed during the early days of the solar system within asteroids. It's a testament to cosmic craftsmanship. Despite initial skepticism suggesting the high nickel content could be a result of smelting, further investigation dispelled doubts. The beads were cold-worked, not molded under heat. Considering that iron smelting in ancient Egypt was only recorded much later, around the 6th century BC, these meteorite jewels offer a breathtaking journey into Egypt's ancient past, where cosmic beauty converged with exceptional craftsmanship. Number 14. Pit of Hands The ancient Egyptians exhibited both weird and fascinating practices, as exemplified by a macabre discovery in 2011. While excavating the courtyard of the Hyksos Palace at Avaris, Tel El Daba, in northeastern Egypt, archaeologists unearthed three separate pits containing severed human hands. No one had to see this. What they discovered shocked the whole world. While inscriptions on tombs and temples often depicted mutilated or amputated hands as part of a peculiar ritual, this discovery marked the first encounter with actual amputated hands. Dated to the 15th dynasty, Spanning from 1640 BC to 1530 BC, the 12 hands belong to 12 adults, including 11 males and 2 females. According to the German and Austrian archaeological team behind the findings, Egyptologists speculate that such gruesome mutilation practices were linked to a trophy-taking tradition prevalent during the reign of the Egyptian Hekos king Amose. Given that these hands were discovered at his temple in Abydos, it's likely they were severed from his enemies and intentionally buried in plain view of the palace. This act served a dual purpose, as a war souvenir and a deterrent, sending a stark warning to anyone contemplating rebellion against the king. Number 13. Tomb of the Silver Pharaoh In 1939, the French archaeologist Pierre Monte made a serendipitous discovery while excavating in northern Egypt, a hidden gem that turned out to be one of the most spectacular ancient Egyptian treasures of all time, surpassing even Tutankhamun's. What set this tomb apart was its grandeur, showcasing a lavish array of jewels and treasures that left archaeologists in awe. However, the true showstopper was the silver sarcophagus inside the tomb, adorned with intricate craftsmanship. Remarkably, it stands as the only silver sarcophagus ever found in ancient Egypt, a captivating sight for researchers. As scholars delved into the hieroglyphs within the tomb, they began unraveling the identity of the pharaoh Susen I. The investigation uncovered a tale of political intrigue, a lost city, and a leader who united a country in turmoil, earning him the illustrious title of the Silver Pharaoh. Surrounded by the splendor of this tomb, one can't help but ponder the life and times of Susanna's. What extraordinary events led to such a lavish final resting place? The tomb of the Silver Pharaoh holds the answers to this intriguing historical mystery. Number 12. The Temple of Zeus Contrary to the belief that Zeus was solely revered in Greece, archaeological findings reveal that the acclaimed Greek king of the gods extended his influence beyond borders securing a temple dedicated to his worship in Egypt. This aligns with the Egyptian inclination to adopt foreign religions that resonate with them religiously. In 2022, the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities unveiled the discovery of the ruins of a temple devoted to Zeus worship. Located in the Tel El Pharma archaeological site in northwestern Sinai, this site, also known as Pelusium, held significance during the late pharaonic period and continued to be utilized in the Byzantine and Greco-Roman eras, possibly explaining the choice of location for the Temple of Zeus. The temple, uniquely dedicated to a fusion of the Greek god Zeus and Mount Kaisos in Syria, showcased inscriptions indicating its renovation by Roman Emperor Hadrian, who reigned from 117 to 138 AD. These discoveries contribute to the broader efforts of the Egyptian tourism ministry to revitalize tourism, especially in the wake of the recent global pandemic's impact on the industry. 
Number 11. 800 Tombs In 2018, a remarkable discovery unfolded in Egypt, unearthing around 800 tombs dating back approximately 4,000 years. No one had to see this. What they discovered in Egypt shocked the whole world. Surprisingly, these tombs remained hidden in plain sight for over a century, nestled in an ancient cemetery situated between two large pyramids near Licht, a picturesque village near Cairo. These tombs, akin to hidden gems, once boasted impressive structures with roofs and causeways leading to the nearby riverbank, serving as preparation sites for the deceased on their journey to the afterlife. Adding to the intrigue, these tombs belong to the Middle Kingdom, a captivating era often overshadowed by Egypt's more renowned pyramid and golden ages. This discovery acts as a time capsule, offering insights into life during this flourishing period. Notably, the tombs are in proximity to the graves of Pharaoh Senusret and Amenemhet, providing a sense of standing in the presence of royalty. Furthermore, this rare find holds the potential to answer long-standing mysteries surrounding Egypt's Renaissance period. Number 10. Mummified Crocodiles What appears to be a group of stealthily moving crocodiles through the mud is, in fact, a collection of mummified crocodiles, testifying to the ingenious mummification process of ancient Egypt that has preserved them for over 2,500 years. Despite being deceased for millennia, these crocodiles have been remarkably well-preserved. This peculiar practice is thought to be a tribute to Sobek, the Egyptian god of fertility, who was symbolized by a crocodile. Approximately 10 of these crocodile remains were discovered in a tomb at Kubat al-Hawa on the west bank of the River Nile. In ancient Egyptian culture, crocodiles held significant roles beyond their association with deities. They were a crucial food source and various parts of the animal, such as its fat, were employed for medicinal purposes, treating conditions like body pains, stiffness, and even baldness. Number 9. Childbirth Tattoos Tattoos held a crucial role in ancient Egyptian culture, serving not only as a fashion statement for both men and women, but also carrying spiritual significance. According to ancient Egyptian beliefs, pregnant women often adorned protective tattoos on their lower backs. During an archaeological expedition at the New Kingdom site of Deir el Medina, researchers Anne Austin and Marie-Elise Arnetra discovered such tattoos on ancient flesh and figurines. These tattoos were frequently associated with B.E.s, the Egyptian god responsible for protecting women and children, especially during childbirth. Human remains uncovered from this expedition included those of a middle-aged woman, revealing well-preserved skin adorned with an image extending to the lower back. The depicted image featured bees and a bowl, intricately linked to the ritual purification practices observed in the weeks following childbirth. Number 8. Mummified Falcons In 2019, archaeologists made a perplexing discovery in the ancient abandoned Red Sea port city of Baraniki. During an excavation, Spanish and Polish archaeologists unearthed the mummified remains of 15 falcons, many of which were headless. The eerie part was that these falcons were all buried around a pedestal. This bizarre burial site, dated to the 4th to 6th century AD, raised eyebrows. While previous discoveries indicated the worship of falcons in ancient times, including individual mummified falcons, Finding a group of falcons buried together inside a temple was unprecedented. The excavation also revealed a collection of unhatched falcon eggs. Adding to the mystery, a stele with an unusual inscription was found at the site stating, It is improper to boil a head in here. Such findings have kept archaeologists tirelessly working to unravel the enigma surrounding this ancient temple and the peculiar rituals practiced within its walls. Number 7 the Spinning Statue. Embark on a journey into the mysterious world of Egyptian artifacts as we uncover the puzzle surrounding Nebo Sanu, a captivating 10-inch statue that has baffled archaeologists. Placed in a display case, Nebo Sanu surprises observers by autonomously spinning. Numerous efforts have been made to understand this statue's peculiar behavior. One theory suggests that vibrations from passers-by near the display case trigger its unexplained movements. However, delving into the mystical, esteemed Egyptologist Ken Price proposes a more intriguing perspective. According to Price, 
Statues like Nibo Sanu may serve as conduits for spiritual energies, especially when the original resting places of these spirits, the mummies, have been disturbed. Adding to the intrigue, a time-lapse video at the museum reveals these spinning statues gradually moving during the day, mysteriously freezing in stillness at night. Interestingly, the video shows no human involvement, creating an eerie impression of statues autonomously challenging the laws of inertia. The most chilling aspect? Nibo Sanu's rotation goes beyond a simple 360-degree spin. Surprisingly, after completing a full 180-degree turn, the statue abruptly stops, marking an unprecedented phenomenon. Impressively, this statue has been part of the museum's collection for an astounding 80 years, maintaining its mysterious allure over time. Number 6. Ancient Bones of a Child with Dogs In the vast expanse of the Fayum Oasis Desert, just 60 miles south of Cairo, archaeologists made a startling discovery within an acropolis. No one had to see this. What they discovered in Egypt shocked the whole world. Buried deep in the archaeological layers was the remains of an eight-year-old child, accompanied by an astonishing entourage of 142 dogs. This unusually large number of canine companions suggested a remarkably close bond between the child and the dogs. In the context of ancient Egypt, where animals were often revered, the sheer number of dogs raised eyebrows. Unraveling the mystery proved challenging, as the purpose the boys served for this pack of dogs and the circumstances of their collective demise remained unclear. Amidst the enigma, subtle clues emerged. The child's head, was covered with a linen bag, a rarity in Egyptian burials. The mystery deepened as archaeologists found traces of blue clay in the dog remains, a clay linked to ancient Egyptian reservoirs. This discovery led experts to consider a somber theory. Could a catastrophic flood have been the cause of the simultaneous demise of the child and his canine companions? If true, this scenario paints a poignant picture of shared fear in their final moments. The discovery reveals a narrative that transcends time, portraying the profound bond between a young soul and a multitude of loyal canine companions whose fates became entwined in the face of an ancient and tragic deluge. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Hey there, curious minds. Take a look at this image. No one had to see this. What they discovered in Egypt shocked the whole world. A group of archaeologists stumbled upon a puzzling discovery inside a concealed chamber within a pyramid. Their find made them do a double take, a set of remains that appeared more suited for a sci-fi movie than a historical site. Imagine a creature resembling a cat, but with an unusual mutant-like vibe. Some enthusiasts argue that this could be a creature from the time when pharaohs ruled the land. On the other hand, skeptics raise their flags suggesting it might simply be an animal with a genetic anomaly. So viewers, what's your take on this? Could this be an overlooked species from history? Or is it merely an unfortunate creature that met an untimely end and found its way into the depths of the pyramid? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Number five, Dendera Light. Exploring the wonders of ancient Egypt, a land rich in early civilizations, sparks debates over its mysteries. One intriguing puzzle is the Dendera Light depicted on the walls of the ancient temple dedicated to the goddess Hathor. Three stone reliefs within this sacred space have puzzled experts, resembling a bulb reminiscent of a crook's tube. It includes a lotus socket, a trailing cable, and a filament shaped like a serpent, an image that perplexes. The quest to unravel this mystery began with a Norwegian electrical engineer suggesting the image represents an ancient electrical lamp. Austrian authors Peter Krasse and Rainer Habeck explored this idea in their book Das Licht der Pharaonen, Light of the Pharaohs. Taking it further, electrical engineer W. Garn constructed a functional model of the Dendera light, a tangible link between past and present. However, the controversy persists. Many Egyptologists offer an alternate view, emphasizing inscriptions and adjacent images. The key to deciphering the enigma, they argue, lies in the broader context of Egyptian mythology. In a creation myth, the sun god Atumra emerges from a lotus flower, symbolizing the first manifestation from the primordial sea. The lotus flower, often depicted as a lamp, closely resembles the Dendera light. 
The serpent within the bulb signifies Atom Ra's emergence, symbolizing the birth of the universe from nothingness. For most Egyptologists, the Dendera light is not a technological marvel, but a captivating portrayal of the sun god's ascent from the lotus flower, an intricate piece of ancient art woven with symbolism and mythology. Number 4. King Tutankhamun's Trumpets Embark on a captivating journey with us as we unveil the mysteries surrounding the tomb of the enigmatic pharaoh Tutankhamun. His burial site, a profound enigma, has fascinated explorers and scholars, redirecting the world's attention to the treasures concealed in Egypt's ancient sands. Among the myriad artifacts uncovered, two distinctive trumpets, one silver and the other bronze, stand out. These were no ordinary musical instruments. They were instruments of war. Legend suggests that Tutankhamun wielded these trumpets, using them to summon his soldiers to battle. Archaeologists propose that the sounding of these trumpets marked the onset of war, hinting at a mystical connection between the instruments and the unfolding of conflict. Discovered within Tutankhamun's tomb, these trumpets hold significance not only in the context of ancient Egyptian military strategies, but also as the world's oldest surviving trumpets. Despite their limited musical range, playing only three notes, their historical importance lies in their functionality. They served the purpose for which they were crafted, responding to the summons of a king who ruled in a time when war and power were interwoven in the fabric of existence. The resonance of these ancient trumpets reverberates through time, carrying with them the stories of a pharaoh and his martial calls that once echoed across the ancient Egyptian landscape. Number 3. Labyrinth of Hawara, constructed by Pharaoh Amenemhat III during the 12th dynasty around 1850 BC, this intriguing site lies just 9 kilometers east of the Fayum Oasis. Above the labyrinth stands the Black Pyramid, a unique structure made of brick stones and adorned with a limestone coating, a departure from the construction patterns of the more commonly known pyramids. In its prime, this marvel stood at an impressive height of about 58 meters, with each side of its base stretching approximately 100 meters long. Beneath the enigmatic Black Pyramid lies the Labyrinth of Hawara, an archaeological treasure unearthed in 2008. This discovery was inspired by the writings of the renowned historian Herodotus, who marveled at an incredible megalithic structure during his time. Archaeologists, drawing from Herodotus' accounts, scoured the area until they uncovered the remains of the labyrinth, a complex that has stirred curiosity and speculation. Egyptologists posit that the intricate structures within the labyrinth could hold the key to unraveling numerous mysteries surrounding ancient Egyptian civilization. This labyrinthine complex has the potential to provide insights into not only the culture and society of that era, but also the empires that predated the conventional historical narrative. As we delve into the depths of Hawara's labyrinth, we may unearth answers that reshape our understanding of history, offering a glimpse into a past that predates the recorded annals of human civilization. Number 2. The Mummy with the Golden Tongue During the exploration of Tapasiris Magna, an ancient Egyptian site, Researchers uncovered a unique mummy that traced back over 2,000 years. Yet, it wasn't the age of the remains that fascinated experts. It was the peculiar artifact found within the mummy's mouth, a golden tongue. No one had to see this. What they discovered in Egypt shocked the whole world. This discovery puzzled historians, as the presence of a golden tongue was an unusual practice in ancient Egypt. According to prevailing beliefs in Egyptian religious cosmology, the golden tongue served a specific purpose in aiding the deceased's passage into the afterlife. The idea was that by adorning the deceased with this golden tongue, they could effectively communicate with Osiris, the Egyptian god of the underworld. This communication, it was believed, would grant the departed soul access to the realms beyond. The significance of this find goes beyond the physical artifact. It stands as a testament to the deep convictions of ancient Egyptians in the concept of an afterlife. The inclusion of the golden tongue in burial practices reveals previously unknown ritualistic aspects, 
offering insight into the intricate belief systems that guided the ancient Egyptians as they navigated the threshold between life and the hereafter. This discovery highlights the rich tapestry of ancient Egyptian religious practices and the lengths to which they went to ensure a smooth transition into the mysteries of the afterlife. Number 1. The Lost Golden City of Luxor In ancient times, the intriguing story unfolds of Akhenaten, a controversial king who, with his wife Nefertiti, brought about a radical shift in religious allegiance, moving away from the prevalent paganism that had long dominated the kingdom. They founded a new city named after Akhenaten, deviating from traditional beliefs and embracing the worship of the sun. After Akhenaten's death, his unconventional legacy faded into obscurity with the rise of his son, Tutankhamun, who took a different path. The lingering historical question is why Akhenaten abandoned Thebes, the capital serving the kingdom for over 150 years. Archaeologists attribute this to the discovery of an industrial metropolis within Thebes, inherited by Akhenaten from his father, Amenhotep III. Unveiled in September 2022, this metropolis, named the Lost Golden City of Luxor, is reminiscent of Pompeii. At the site, archaeologists found mud-brick walls, ancient artifacts, and structures revealing a bustling city, bakeries, kitchens, metal and glass production facilities, administrative buildings, and a cemetery with rock-carved tombs. The lost golden city of Luxor testifies to the once thriving civilization within Akhenaten's inheritance. This discovery offers insights into the daily life, industry, and culture of an ancient metropolis, shedding light on Akhenaten's motivations for abandoning Thebes in favor of a city eventually buried in time's sands. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.